Hello, everyone, and welcome to Raise Your Buck 47. It is a Thursday afternoon, maybe Thursday evening here at the Raise Your Buck household. And we are starting a segment uh, tonight called That Guy Thursday. What we're going to do with That Guy Thursday is to spotlight uh, a player that may not be on the radar, as it were, uh, for the big plays and the big breaks and all of these, but somebody that works hard, he's, uh, he is on the team and he is making a contribution, um, just may not be the big name, like a big name quarterback or a big name running back receiver. Um, so we wanted to start out with a very popular name in the 2020 season, as far as breaks and rips and uh, all the things you watch on YouTube. If you've done anything on YouTube, if you've done a break or a rip or been a part of it, you've seen this guy. This is Albert O of the Denver Broncos. And we just wanted to put a little spotlight on him and show a little love for Albert O, the hardest name uh, in the NFL, as it were, in 2020. If you've seen uh, anybody open up a pack with him in it, you're like, oh, Albert, that guy, uh, or Albert O, or Albert Akawata Bottomum, or whatever, if they try to say it and stumble over it. I know I have tried to say it and stumbled over it several times. So I have studied the pronunciation of Albert O's last name, and I will say that uh, toward the end of this little segment. And hopefully, I will get it right. That is the goal. Uh, no promises. Um, but we will try. That's what we do here. Um, a little bit about Albert O. He was drafted in the fourth round of the 2020 draft, um, the 118th pick overall. Uh, but you can probably get all that stuff from ESPN. Um, he played high school at Sacred Heart Griffin in Springfield, Illinois. He was actually played basketball and was a wide receiver on the football team. Um, and went to uh, two uh, championships in 2013, 2014, helped his team win. Uh, went to college, played college at the University of Missouri, um, where he also played two seasons with Drew Locke, who is also quarterback of the Denver Broncos. And, you know, you think about uh, going up from college and joining up with the quarterback that you played in college with and you think wow that's a that's got to be a shoe in you know but um i'm sure it's help i'm sure it's a plus but not necessarily just an automatic i don't think uh in my personal armchair quarterback position i would say um you know maybe there's a chemistry there a little bit of a bond but the plays are different of course uh, the speed of the game is much, much faster uh, in the NFL. Um, so to say it's just a shoe-in is probably a little bit of a stretch. Um, but uh, Albert O brings a lot to the table. He is a very big target. He has a very large catch radius. Um, he, um, his blocking schemes has helped um, the games that he did play in before his knee injury. In 2020, he was able to make several big plays. He had 11 receptions for 121 yards and a touchdown. Uh, he had some crucial blocks, uh, some crucial um, penalties that he drew that kept drives alive. So he made some contributions in 2020 uh, for the Broncos. Now, that being said, I will say this. I am a Buccaneer fan. I like Cameron Brait, who is a tight end for the for the Buccaneers. Um, if you're not a Buccaneer fan, you may or may not know who Cameron Brait is. Um, but being a Bucks fan, I, he is a solid player, team contributor, and I like him. So if you're not a Broncos fan, you may not know or you may not care who Albert O is. But if you're a Broncos fan, um, you might have some love in your heart for Albert O. So now, with all of that being said, uh, the moment that you have all been waiting for, the pronunciation of his name. And this is the correct pronunciation. So now you will know when you're in breaks and you're in rips, you'll be able to say it the right way. Albert Okwugbunum.
Albert Oquag Bunham. Um, that is how you say his name. So no longer are you limited to saying Albert O. And we thank you very much for joining our um, That Guy Thursday. Hope you'll be back next week to see another rookie that is spotlighted and shown a little sunlight for. So from all of us at Razorbuck 47, whooping, go Bucks!